afternoon. My name is Mr. Garcia and my partner's name is Mizzy. And today we are gonna be going over how to create a successful school schedule for your student. So we understand that during these unprecedented times, it is hard for students to learn, especially being at home virtually, not being in classroom, not socializing with their student, with their friends. So we create the schedule on how to make sure that students are staying on task, completing their work and what you as a parent can do to assist with that. So one exciting thing about of the virtual school experience is getting to manage learning day. And that means that you get to design the schedule with your student so he can he can best learn. Just like students in a traditional school year, um, they do their best work when the day is well structured. Um, so when we talk about structuring, we talk about having a set schedule for your student. Um, and by having a set, a well-structured routine, students um, aren't able to stay on task, focus during class meetings with their teachers, um, it eliminates distractions during virtual time, and then it also develops repetition. So how to create a morning routine. So we're going to watch this quick video. Um, we're going to watch the first three minutes of the video. Um, and it explains how to create a morning routine and why it is important to create a morning routine. The easiest way to remain average, wake up at 65, having none of your dreams realized, having tons of regret and feeling like you've just missed out on life, is to follow the steps of the average person. Wake up, watch the news or check your Facebook while you eat your breakfast. Bonus tip, make sure it's something unhealthy and will drain your energy. Then you get ready to go to work or school. And while you dress up, make sure to feel upset and angry because you hate going to work and you also hate university. Then you mindlessly commute for around 30 minutes, followed by 8 hour long hibernation at work. And before you know it, you've spent more than half of your day on autopilot. You get back home and you have absolutely no idea what to do for the rest of the day. You've spent your morning whining and complaining about your work, checking Facebook and literally having no motivation or purpose whatsoever. You've done this in the past. I've done this in the past. I know, it sucks. Imagine this instead. You wake up and you actually feel grateful that you are allowed to live one more day. You decide it will make this day more efficient than previous weeks or months combined. You read something uplifting and inspirational for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe watch a motivational video. You eat a healthy breakfast that will boost your energy and prepare you for the day ahead. You set your daily goals. You realize it is really important that you know where you are heading and what you expect from your day. You commute to work or school, but you are in charge of your morning now. You decide to listen to an audiobook. You play it at 1.5 or 2x the speed. Congratulations, that little decision to listen for 30 minutes in the morning just made you read a book a week, 52 in a year. You get to work, but your morning routine made you realize that your days are limited. You decide to get the most out of your time while you're working. Suddenly, you are not that bored anymore. You found your job a little interesting and you want to outperform yourself from the past. You get back home and by now the snowball effect is just too powerful. You feel alive and present in the moment. All of that because you decided to start your morning where you're in control and not just reacting and mindlessly consuming whatever is available. So that was a quick little um, video on why it's important to create a morning routine and what um, students can get from um, creating a morning routine, right? So going back to our slides, um, so why is it important to develop a routine? So when students develop a routine, they find it easier to complete tasks, right? So for example, if students have a set schedule on when they're supposed to be online learning, when they're supposed to be doing chores, when they're supposed to be doing um, fun activities, then it enables them to understand their expectations as well as to know when it is time to work and when it is time to play. Um, another important key as to why it's important to develop a routine is that they have more time to relax and it, it creates less, less anxiety. So if students have a set, set schedule when they're supposed to be doing work, um, whether it's you know working on math, reading, um, it is easier for them to finish that assignment during the day um, at a specific time rather than waiting at the end of the day, um, at the end of the night to complete that assignment 
um, staying up maybe to like 12 or 1 in the morning and then having to wake up the next morning and um, turn the assignment in, right? So it is better if students relax, get their work done, and that creates a le less anxiety towards the night um, and allows them to sleep better. So focusing on elementary school schedule. So students in elementary schools, um, uh, in elementary school, will go from school to from 8 a.m. to 2:55. Um, however, they will be broken up into two groups. So it'll either it'll either either be from 8 in the morning to 11 um, in the morning, or it'll be from 11:55 to 2:55. Um, and it's broken down by transitional and um, by TK and kindergarten, and then it's broken down by um, grades one through six. So ideally, those who are in TK or kindergarten will go um, to school from eight to nine fifty, and that'll be live instruction, and that'll be half of the class. While the other group um, is working on, I was working in um, on at home assignments for sixty minutes uh, during uh, not live instruction. And then from 9.50 to 11 o'clock, you have an intervention block, which is a support um, support time for um, students to collaborate with teachers and support staff. And then from 11 to 11.50 um, is their lunch break. And then in the afternoon from 11.55 to 1.45 is when that other group of students who did not attend class in, in the morning session will be on live instruction with the teachers. And that other group is expected to be working at um working on home assignments. Now, um, grades one through six is a little bit the same. The only thing that changes is the time. Um, they run for about fifteen more minutes than um those who are in TK or kindergarten. Um, same routine. Half of the class will start live instruction in the morning from eight to ten o five. Um, while that other half is expected to be working on home assignments, and then. That morning group has an intervention block for support time from 10.05 to 11. And then the lunch break is the same from 11 to 11.50. And then um, once that group is done, the afternoon um, group pops online with teacher um, during live instruction. And then that other group is expected to be working at, um, on assignments at home. Um, for the middle school schedule, it's a little different. Um, Middle school schedule runs from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, each period is about 35 minutes long. Um, on Wednesdays, it's the only ex exception where um, eighth period runs a little longer. Um, from 115 to 135, we have our social emotional learning instruction. Um, that's only on Wednesdays. Uh, any other day, um, it runs from 8 in the morning to 115 p.m. And then from 115 to 3 p.m., Every day except Tuesday, um, those are student um, student slash parent support hours. So our morning preparation. So the expectation is for um, students to to wake up early in the morning. Um, by waking up early, they're able to prepare for their day. Um, some of the suggestions we um, came up with is that students use the restroom early in the morning. That way, they avoid um, any um, um, avoid missing um, instruction from teachers, uh, making sure they have good hygiene, right? So waking up, whether it's brushing your teeth, um, putting deodorant on, um, or showering the morning of, and then looking presentable. We want students to look the way they would look coming to school, um, meaning changing out of their PJs. Um, and then uh, the most important um, aspect of the morning preparation is having breakfast, breakfast making sure that they're they're having a healthy breakfast. Um, it's the most important meal of the day, and it's the um, the energy students consume early in the morning to to keep going during instruction time. Uh, but students' workspace, you know, it's it's also important for students to have a comfortable workspace since they will be, you know, we're um, at home learning. So it's always important for students to have a comfortable area where they're able to sit. Um, they're able to feel comfortable and have a clean space, making sure they have good lighting. So when the camera is on, making sure that they're engaged, collaborating with the teacher and the teacher is able to see them, uh, making sure that they have the supplies at hand, making sure that they have paper or a pencil or a calculator available for them, and then making sure they also have a water bottle. Um, 
we want to avoid as many distractions as possible. I think having a water bottle at hand is probably um, a good idea, as well as having good Wi-Fi connection, right? So um, I know sometimes it's a little difficult since we can't control that, but maybe making sure that the Wi-Fi is kind of working the night before and then the morning of, just to make sure that the student um, is is present. However, if there is, is a problem with the Wi-Fi connection, the student can always send the teacher an email um, saying that he or she was logged out and um, the teacher would understand. So the way um, online, um, online learning works is, you know, students are expected to go on ClassLink to sign in. Um, once they sign, up, sign in through their ClassLink, they'll go to Google, their Google Classroom and the teacher will have posted their WebEx link. All right, so on, in Google Classroom, they'll find a link into which they, they, they sign in. Um, in Classroom, you can also find the teachers will post their assignments, their announcements, etc. cetera. Um, and then once they click on the link, it's when they, they go live um, with the teacher and then they engage in learning, collaborate with teacher, and then um, go from there. Um, a couple of tips for student success. Um, we know it's kind of, it's a, it's a hard transition from live instruction to online instruction. So I think as a parent, one of the most important things is making sure that there's a reminder, uh, that you remind your students of breaks, you know. Um, each period has about um, a five minute break. So we, um, students can take that as a passing period, right? If they want to grab a quick snack, if they want to go to the restroom, right? We're going to treat it like as a, as a passing period. Um, making sure that the homework's completed, right? So making sure they're working on their homework when they're not on uh, during um, instructional time with their teacher. Making sure that homework is completed, that way um, students have more time to relax and then that creates less anxiety. Limiting distractions and then focusing areas. So making sure that during their instruction time, um, everything's put away like phones, uh, making sure tabs are closed, making sure that they're paying attention. And then also making sure that they're respecting their class expectations, right? So using the mute and unmute button um, respectively, as well as a chat box. Um, it, it is much harder for a teacher to control a student's actions or a student's comments during live instruction. I think just understanding that there's class expectations would, um, would be a smoother transition for that teacher. Uh, my other tip, you know, during during the, this online learning is for uh, students to set a music playlist um, during asynchronous time to focus, you know, when they're, are they are not um, live with their teacher. One of the good things is to, to develop a music playlist and as they're working, they can listen to their music. Um, now the process, uh, fairly simple. Um, students log on to ClassLink, go on to Google Classroom, go on to WebEx um, from there. They go, um, when they're in the Google Classroom, they'll participate. And then once they're, they participate, they just prepare for the next day as well. So what you can do as a parent, um, ask your student about their day work, right? Ask them how their day went, ask them how homework's going. Communicate with the teacher. You also have access to communicate with the teacher um, during the student parent support hours. You can contact the counselor. We all have websites on our Lancaster School District webpage. Um, and you can also assist your students with daily reminders and helping them develop a routine. Um, some students may have never been adjusted to um, having a routine, and I think developing that routine could really um, enable students to to finish work early and to um, to get an education at home. Um, assisting with homework is also a key factor at, um, when students are learning from home. And then you can also have the ability to um, access your um, your parent portal, which um, it, 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 um, it shows attendance, grades, assignments, etc. It's another way of a form of communication to, um, to get in contact with a teacher. So setting up your a school, uh, a school day a visual day schedule is also important, right? So it's making sure that apart from going live with the teachers, making sure that they have time to have lunch, they have time to socialize with their friends, um, but still keeping in mind that social distance aspect, making sure that they have their quiet time, making sure they have time to read. All these things are important. Um, 
as a student stays busy, then it allows them to, you know, for this, for this um, pandemic to pass by a little faster. Um, you know, so what, what could a daily schedule consist of? So you have your child help, help you create a schedule uh, by working together. Um, and then in the schedule, you could include setting a time um, to go outside and play at least two times a day. Um, you know, by doing this, um, it enables, you know, family walks, uh, ride bike scooters, and then play active games. You know, it, it lets the student be active during the day. Um, you should also include um, a side like a quiet time. You know, during this quiet time, students can read a book, students can listen to music, um, set meals and snack times during the schedule. Um, so you stay in the group of things and then also make sure to limit the limit on screen time during school days. I know it's very hard for students during this time to not to not want to hop on that iPad, um, iPad or, or that um, laptop, but making sure that uh, they're limit they're being limited on screen time is also it's also crucial. But as parents um, at home, we understand that sometimes parents work, or parents have things to do. Um, but making sure you set up that expectation with your children um, about when you'll be available and when you'll be not is also important. And that's part of that setting of that daily schedule, maybe embedding your schedule into their schedules to see when it is a perfect time for, you know, mom or dad or, or grandpa to help assist with homework and when it's not. Um, and then you can also, another suggestion would be building um, into the schedule some activities, you know, that will be able to do on their own. Um, whether it's educational TV shows, um, educational games, um, that type of stuff. Um, and then preparing for the next day. So, you know, reminding students to sleep early, eight to 10 hours. Um, they're still growing, eight to 10 hours is still necessary for students. Um, setting an alarm, right? Making sure they're giving themselves time in the morning to wake up, shower, brush your teeth, put on deodorant. Um, setting an alarm the, the night before is always, is always crucial. Uh, making sure that they have their clothes ready so they look presentable, making sure that they have their materials set in a common place so they're not looking for them um, every single day. And then the most important one, making sure that the Chromebook is charged, right? That's crucial because it is live instruction. So making sure that the Chromebook is charged is, is a vital component to their, to their education. And then uh, making sure that, like I mentioned, making sure that students are going to bed at the right time. Um, making sure that they are not sleeping during instruction and making sure that they're well rested for the next day. Well, that concludes our presentation. Um, we look forward to hearing from you guys and we hope you have a great day.